All right, folks, this is one that I know a few guys have been waiting for, but I got the sound system up and running in the SPAD, the AH-1 Sky Raider, A-1H Sky Raider, excuse me. I'm actually going to demonstrate uh, a few different files on three different SD cards I've been playing around with all night. Uh, one of them is the A-1, a little modified, still working with it. Uh, and some extra uh, things I've actually added to... Uh, been able to do around with Dave's unit here working with him on that he's been a big help and giving me some instructions on uh, how to use this thing but anyway we'll fire this up I've already got the plane on early in the morning here and I'm just now waking up but we got the plane on and I've been testing these files I don't have the prop on here to keep the thing from flying away on me but let you listen to what it sounds to I've got the volume cranked all the way up down about five percent this is running on a 4s where it's not quite uh, 6S voltage, but this is a 4H, a 4S. These are three or two 3-inch AeroSound speakers that are 8 ohms each, and then they're wired into the thing, into the uh, shockwave unit in in uh, parallel. So here we go. Here's the startup. This disc, the disc that I have in here, or SD card that I have in here right now, is currently the uh, Falkwolf 190, which I really like the way it sounds with a few extra sounds that I've added to it for auxiliaries. Uh, but it's probably one of the better sounding of all the files I've listened to so far. So here we go, Falk Wolf 190 first in the Sky Raider. down to shut off. Now that I'll get, show some of the aux sounds on here, I actually have, I believe, six of them on here. First one. First set of machine guns. Second set of machine guns. Third set of machine guns. Try that one more time. I actually overlapped the second and third machine gun. Third set of machine guns. fifty calibers slow rate <sighs> next sound which I believe is the missile toe firing of rockets now on the back side the last two here I've had some taxi sounds to kind of give it an added realism That's one of the pilot chatters that I recorded and uh, added into it with a little bit of editing. This is the uh, last one. Nine eleven, eleven, Roger. We'll call. Cross your call. Nine zero seven zero six. Left turn, guys. 
And all the sounds off. Those sounds are activated by my toggle switch here. When I toggle it once and back, that's the first sound. I toggle it twice and back, that's the second sound. Now to turn that sound off, I have to repeat the process. For sound one, I have to toggle one, it's on and back, and then toggle it again, on and back, it's off. It's on, it's on a logic circuit. The same repeats for step for sounds. I have six, or actually five or six sounds on here. So when I want to activate sound five, I click it quick five times and it'll play in a loop sound five. To turn that sound off, I have to click it again five times and bring it back to the neutral position or that sounds off. If you miss it, and while it's in a loop and you click it again, it'll play that sound on that setting, sound three, and actually overlap them and can kind of get on garbled. So that's just something you have to kind of be aware of, but it is a nice feature. I actually added six sounds to this airplane as an auxiliary, and I, there's, you can add up to as much as your SD card will hold. I just happened to have these played around with them to see how it would come out. Anyway, there's the Falk Wolf 190 sound with the auxiliaries on there. Now then, I'm going to turn the plane down here, and I'm going to punch in the A1 Sky Raider card here that I've actually modified with the A1 sound with an overlap and a blend of the um, I'm trying to think of the airplane that I had on there, but anyway, it's a, it's a blend of the it's a blend a T28 Trojan. It's a blend of the T28 Trojan and the A1 Sky Raider startup. So anyway, cycle this down. Take out the Falk Wolf 190. Simply change the SD card after you've powered it down. I plug it right back in. I have a JST tap off of my battery, so the minute I plug in my battery, this 4 cell, it automatically powers up the um, shockwave set of pounds, uh, higher circuits on there. It has two, it has a lower. Lower circuitry, higher circuitry. In order to get the sound, you have to have power to the higher circuitry. And I'm tapping off the battery right now. And this one is 4S. If I was actually plugged this into a 6S, it would be much louder. But this has to be a 4S airplane that I've rigged this on. But here we go. Here's the startup of my modified A1 um, sound. It's hard to get the idle to hold, still working on that. But it'll just stay at idle. It's only one click on the radio. get it to where that sound right there without the in-between is the idle but uh, still have to play around with the adjustments between it and the radio but that was what I got there that's the A1 now then for the sounds on it which are pretty much identical to what you just heard with the F190 was basically one click one click and it's off two clicks for the next sound one two now to turn that off I have to do it again otherwise it'll sit there in a loop on a cycle third sound
three clicks to turn it back off. Now then, if that was in a loop cycle like that, and it was still playing, and he was doing all this t uh, pilot and t uh, tower chatter and stuff like that, and I, and I didn't turn that sound off, and I went one click and turned on the machine guns, the machine guns would overlap that tower sound, and it starts to overpower the sound, and it gets garbled and all blended. So, a little, a little manipulation there, a little hard to do, but the, the, the ability to do that is there, which is a really nice feature. You just have to pay attention to what position you're in, at least the way I have it set up on my radio. I'm not using my dial switch. I'm using the switch there, and I think I have, like I said, five or six sounds in there. I'm not going to play them all, but... Uh, that was my modified A1 Sky Raider sound. I'm still working with several other files uh, where it's blended into the, uh, I, want to, I keep wanting to say T34, but it's actually the, T, the T28 Trojan sound with a mixture of parts from the A1 sound. So then let me power this thing down again. Unplug the A1 SD card. And this is the P51 card. Now this actually is the P51 Merlin that uh, David reworked and I tweaked on it just a little bit myself this weekend and added a few things. But uh, first we'll do the sounds on it, which are pretty much the same. One click. One click and it's off. Two clicks, next go. Two clicks and they're off. Three clicks. Missiles. Three clicks and they're off. Four clicks should be. Four clicks, and that was the same tower from the beginning of the clip. And five clicks, the next tower. 9 11, 11, 10, I see a cross from way 25 right there, contact ground 475. 9 11, 11, right there, what's called? And then five clicks again turns that off. Now then, for the sound, throttle up on the, on the Merlin. Joggle my uh, throttle switch every once in a while, and I bring it back too quick, and it hangs at one file instead of coming all the way, all the way back off, and just it'll it'll sit at one point. So I just have to. <laughs> anyway, at the end, there we go. I did one earlier with the Mustang. I'm going to do it again with the. Uh, Mustang, because it has actually the four-inch uh, Visiton uh, speakers from uh, David at, Art, at uh, Model Sounds Incorporated. These are two three-inch Aerosound speakers from uh, Aerosound Works that I've got in here. Four-inch was a little too big, and I was actually planning on putting some more, but right now I only have uh, two three-inches in here. The module will actually mount right there. 
and I just mounted them in boxes real simple right here and here not sure where I'm going to be placing some more they're probably going to be in the wing to help offset the weight that was kind of put up here with these speakers which is actually not a whole lot these are pretty light which is why I use these the lightest three inch speakers that I've seen so far and put a couple down here that I've got to experiment with but I was actually quite surprised at how loud it was just on just those two speakers alone which is what I have in that red Mustang you see there in the back that I had put a video up earlier which is the 1700 millimeter FMS but that has a Bendini system in it on the exact same two speakers so this is David's sounds on the exact two speakers as compared to that one. I need to make another video of that one because it was kind of rushed. But anyway, that'll give you guys what it sounds like. Power this all back down. Now that I know these sounds are working, this is for my 51. I can actually discard this uh, shockwave module. is actually intended to go in both those planes for me to review and without having two modules in it. Just a quick unplug. Undo the speakers, it's already set in there, plug it back in, screw it back down with the screws and nylon bolts, change the SD card, reinitialize it. New airplane. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be making more later. No comments about me running around with my robe. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.